What's going on guys, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review. It's kind of a double package here. We're gonna get into both of that, don't you worry about that. This is for the Yunmai portable massage gun to relieve sore muscles, aches and pains, throbbing biceps, arms, hamstrings, you name it. Older I get personally, I'm beating my body up. I'm playing disc golf, I'm in the gym four days a week and I get sore and massage guns help with recovery. So again, in this video today, we are gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Yunmai portable massage gun with base station right here. Like I said, it's a two for one -er. This is where we're gonna be charging it, and this is the massage gun right here. Real quickly, let me run a couple specs by you guys real briefly before we do get it out of the box. But just like all my unboxing and review videos, in the description box below, right below this video, you're gonna find this exact same link where you can read more about it, pick one up yourself. You guys in the UK, I will have you linked as well if they sell it in the UK. If not, one very similar to it. Your links will be, again, right below the video. You're running 19 volt, one amp with five strength levels. And what's really cool about the Yumai Fascia Massage Gun is it's a slim, elegant design to it. Of course, we'll get you out of the box there. We have a 3200 RPM high powered motor, and it says a 84 day battery life. That's probably on standby, obviously, but we'll get into that, don't worry. And has a rechargeable lithium ion battery. So without further ado, let's get it out of here. Let's go ahead and run it through the test drives. All right, let's get it on out of here. Okay, right off the bat, you get yourself a nice nylon case here with handle. Has the Yunmai logo right on top. Very nice, with a nice handle there. Sturdy, looks rugged. We got ourselves some zippers here. Let's go ahead and get this guy on out of the pouch. Opening her on up here, have ourselves our manual here with some uh, foam. You could either keep that in or you could remove that if you want to here. We'll go ahead and, and look through this before we do initially use it for the first time, just in case we need to charge it. It does say you need to fully charge it before using it for the first time. And let's go ahead and look at the accessories here. We have four of them and we'll go ahead and go through these here. And those rubber heads are actually very nice. These are definitely higher quality than other ones that I have reviewed before. It's almost that like silicone type of rubber, has a very slight give to it, but those feel great. This one also has a very, very slight give to it. This one as well on the end, it's hard right through here, but on the very end has a little slight give. And lastly, we have the pitchfork one, which also has a little bit of a give to it there on the end. All right, let's go ahead and put those back in the box for just a second, and let's get the massage gun out. We do also have our charging cable here, and it might have been just a slight look over, but I did receive this product directly from overseas, so unfortunately they gave me the wrong plug, but I do have a travel adapter that I can use that at. Obviously, if you guys purchase it, whatever country that you purchase it from, they will give you the precise one, but the company sent this out directly, so just probably a slight mistake, but no worries, I do have a travel adapter. Alrighty, let's go ahead and look at the massage gun. This is a great design. This feels amazing in my hand, not over the top weighted, a gun metal gray matte finish. That is really cool. All the detailed design right here, that looks great. We do have a little piece of plastic. Let's go ahead and get that off the top there. And here as well. And let's go ahead and just take a look at all the way around it here as the charging port is on the bottom. And again, that's gonna be a 19 volt, one amp charging input right there. The battery inside is a 2,900 milliamp battery and charging time is about four hours there. Net weight is 0.84 kgs and that is a rechargeable lithium ion. And the size right there is in millimeters. We do have a battery indicator symbol right down here. When all the lights are on, you're gonna be at 100%. When the three lights are on, meaning one, two, three, 65 through 80%, two lights is 40 through 60%, and one light means it's only 20 to 35% when this one is lit here. I know we need to charge it before, but let's go ahead and take a look at that real quickly here. Very bright LED lights here, and the massager is on level one. I wanna go ahead and abide by the direction, so you just go ahead and hold that for a couple seconds there. One, two seconds it turns on, one, two seconds it turns off. One click like that does not work. You have to hold it one, 1,000, two 1,000, and then it starts, one 1,000, two 1,000. And that's just for safety measures. Make sure your massage gun does not turn on during transportation or unwanted times. All right, let's go ahead and show you how to put a massage head accessory in here. So all you do here is 
you pretty much just push straight in like that. And if, and you can give it a one more go if you want, but that is it. All right, next up is gonna be the charging station here, which is just gonna be a simple accessory here. So again, just one piece to it here, matching the same colors. Your charging port is gonna go here. Your accessories are gonna go here with one obviously in the gun. And you have little pads here, which you do have some plastic right on top. Let's go ahead and see, I think that's like yeah, kind of like sticky silicone a little bit, uh, but it's one where it's not like gonna be really, really sticky. That would be able to stick to your desk or where you have it on. So again, remove that if you would like a little bit of stickiness. If you don't, go ahead and just keep it like that there. So your charging cable goes in the back here, and then you would set the gun right down on top, just like this right here. That goes in, and then you put your accessories right in here like this, this, and that right there. All right. Let's go ahead and charge it and take it through the test runs. Well, let's show you some examples of how the future jiu-jitsu champ works his body out right here. He hits the pectorals. He hits the back of his quads, his arms. We're on level two right now, and he just loves to get the top pec going into the bottom of the shoulder, going up through the neck right here, working all the way up the trap. You can even hit your neck if you want to here relieving the stress in the neck. This thing works you. Top of the back, look at how he's just using the arm right here of the handle, and you easily can get the top of your back. And if you have a partner, you know, they can be able to get maybe like the mid part of your back or maybe some certain lower parts or whatnot. But coming around to the lower portion of the back here, Pulsating again, we are on level two. Freeing up all the nerves, the tight muscles, so we can get back to training, so he can get back to training first thing tomorrow morning. He's in here doing double sessions, so he has to and needs to have one of these to keep his muscles nice and loose, keep from tightening up. Obviously ice, some good sleep, good nutrition as well, but this definitely frees up. Now we're going up and down the thigh here working the legs out. Again, in jiu-jitsu, he is working all his muscles every day, working it out. Very, very nice. Look at how he's doing the kind of a counterclockwise, clockwise rotation with it. Loosening it up real nice, folks. Well, folks, a solid massager. Definitely gets a thumbs up in my book and gets a thumbs up for sure for the future jiu-jitsu champ. Thank you for being in the video. He's actually a brown belt, training under a black belt in my gym right now, and he loves it. Every time I bring it in the gym, I set it down, he grabs it, he starts working it away. Not to mention your other accessories as well for whatever type of muscle relief that you want, either the ball. Typically, I like to use the ball, but if you want to get a little bit more penetration, then go ahead and use this one here. Not to mention for your spine, obviously the U-shaped as well. Battery life has been phenomenal. I don't think I've actually recharged this thing yet. And typically I use it for about maybe 10 minutes at a go, maybe 10 minutes a day or so, something like that. When I'm watching Netflix, it's quiet enough. I can watch my show and not be disturbed. Working my muscles right through here has been a little bit tense from disc golf. And then over here on my shoulder from boxing class, this is very nice to be able to work that out, especially after class. And then after a long round of disc golf, working my neck area up here, not to mention if I'm throwing a lot of forehands as well, being able to relieve right through this area, especially the older we get. Because there are five different levels, the elderly can use it on level one without being too hard. I tend to like level two. If you do wanna get a little bit extra, then obviously go with level three, get that 3200 RPM and get in there nice and deep. But overall, a solid look, very quiet, works great. Again, in the description box below is gonna be that exact same link for this product. Get your hands on it yourself. But just like all my review videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do review. But if you do have the cash and it intrigues you, then go ahead and purchase on away. Again, those links will be in the description box below. Thumbs that video up if it has helped you make an informed decision. Subscribe on your way out. We'll see you guys in the next review. My name's Chris, take care, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.